Hi guys, this is Jar Art Spy, and I've decided it's time to come back to making tutorials. Um, I had a like little break there in the middle doing some vlogs and stuff, but I've kind of started getting back into entertaining stuff. So I thought to get me motivated to do more, I just make more tutorials for you. And I'm really close to 1,000 subscribers, and I re I've never heard that, so I figured that actually my subscribers go up a lot more when I make tutorials. So we're gonna make um, start off kind of basic -y type tutorial today. We're gonna to be doing a transition I've done this morning. Um, if I just turn my sound down a bit, uh, you've watched this through. Like, You'll see it is quite similar to the basic offset transition, except I've changed up a bit. I've um, added in some masks so they go different ways and it blurs a bit cooler and so on. Um, now again, this is basic, so you, not all of you might like this, but I wanted to start off basic, kind of get me back into it because I haven't done it properly in a while. So yeah, I wanted to do that. So let's just go ahead and get right in there. Let's make a new transit uh, composition. See, I'm even naming things wrong. That's how long I haven't been doing it. Um, let's call this transition. Uh, 10 seconds long should be fine, just for this example. All right, so I'm going to bring in my first clip, and we're just going to drag it onto the end, because I don't really want it. Now it should, like I did it in five seconds, well not, I didn't do the, the effect in five seconds, I made the composition five seconds long. Um, so you want to go to where it's the two second mark, you want to make sure your clip finishes at two seconds 45. So basically there, oh wait, there we go, wait is this, yeah that's right. Um, okay, so at the two second mark, I want you to hold shift and press one to bring up the first marker. Then the three second mark, I want you to hold shift and press two. So the transition takes place between this second and between second, the, the marker one and marker two. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drag the second clip in, but it's going to be the actual first section. So what you want to do is you want to make sure it starts at one. Now, if you just, I'll just delete this quickly, if you drag this in here like this, and you want to have it and you don't want to align it like manually, just press the open square bracket button and it will align it to your playhead. So wherever this thing is, if you press the open square bracket, it will align it there. So as you can see, it's now here. So all you need to do is press 1 to get back to the marker 1, hit the open square bracket button, and it goes back there. Magic. Right, so the next thing you want to do is go to the 15 second mark. You want to hit T on your keyboard. Um, okay, from now on, when I say say go 15 seconds in, I mean from the two second or the marker one. So I'm at two seconds 15 here. So you want to hit the opacity keyframe, it will stop watch, and bring the opacity down to zero. Then you want to go forward to 45 where the clip ends. Oops, go back a frame, and put it at 100. So now all the clips does so far is fade in. Nothing really, nothing happening majorly special here. Now this is the actual main, that's kind of the bulk of it done. Now this is the um, actual transition. I kind of pointed at the screen and I don't know why. <laughs> um, so what you want to do is you want to hit Command or Control Alt Y. That brings up a new adjustment layer. Or you can just go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer there. Now what I want to do with this, I only want it to be between um, the marker 1 and marker 2. So if you hold Alt and press Open Square Bracket, the Open Square Bracket button, it will start the clip at your playhead. So if you're at number one, it will end it start it there. If you now hit number two and hit Alt close square bracket, it will tr trim the um, layer. So that's only within the adjustment layer is now only active within this second here. Okay, so now we're getting into the interesting bit. I'm going to name this uh, fast blur. Now we're actually working backwards, I'm doing this backwards, we're actually starting with the blur and then we're going to do the sliding. So what we want to do is, now we have the fast blur adjustment layer, we're going to go to effect, oh, blur and sharpen, Ugh. fast blur. Now you want to change the blur dimensions to horizontal because we're going to be sliding it across and up. If you're sliding it up, you'd make it vertical. So you want to hit the blur in this stopwatch up there in the effects and then go to the keyframe uh, marker 2 and hit U on the fast blur layer, so it brings up the keyframes, and press the little add, um, add new keyframe button there. Now you want to go to the 30 seconds in mark, the halfway point, and bring this up to 100. Voila. So now what happens is, it starts to blur, fade happens, and then it's back to this clip. Now the interesting bit happens when you do the sliding. 
So same thing, same rule. Command Alt Y to add in the adjustment layer. Press Alt Open Square Bracket and Alt Close Square Bracket to have it in that area. Now I'm going to bring this beneath the file split. Make sure the file split is on the top. All right. So now we're going to call this. We're going to call this top. Okay. Right. So the first thing I want to do is add a mask to the area you want to slide. So I'm going to just make this a bit easier on myself. Next to the 100% down here, you should see this weird Choose Grid and Guide Options button. If you hold your mouse click down on that, if you can click Grid, this will pop up, so you've got a grid to work with now. What you can also do, if you just turn the grid off, you go to Proportional Grid, you can see the better areas. So what we can do with this now, because in the, in the example I did here, you'll notice that I've got two small ones at the, at the bottom and top and a big one in the middle. Now, what I'm going to do here is have three evenly sized ones. So I said this, I, la I label, labeled this the top one. So I'm just going to hold Command D to duplicate that layer, or right click. Um, I swear duplicate's on here somewhere. Always go to layer. Um, I can't remember where duplicate is. Edit, duplicate. Uh, there it is. Um, and we're going to call this one bottom. Oh, not bottom. Bottom. So I'm going to drag that to the bottom, then we're going to duplicate it one more time. I'm going to call this one middle. So now we can add our masks to each of these. So let's do the top one. We're going to click the square mask tool. We're going to drag it down. And we're going to select this section here. So just this top section. So the two boxes on the top. doesn't matter if you're not exact. It won't make that much of a difference. Right, now go to the middle. This is the harder one to do because you can't be, you could be more accurate. Uh, I'm sorry if I get louder, I'm moving closer to the screen so I can make this more accurate. You want to kind of drag this along the two middle middle like sections, along the lines like so. And then bottom, same, but on the two bottom sections. Like so. Okay, so now we have all these different sections selected. So if we just quickly get rid of the proportional grid here, we can say hide the top of it. Uh, and it's not going because we're not on the layer. Hmm, that's interesting. Why is my mask not working? Huh. Hold on, give me a second to just think this through. I know why. Ha, ah, my bad. It's because we haven't actually applied any effects yet. So what we want to do now is we we want to get on with the actual sliding. So if you select all the layers, top and no, let's select the top and bottom by holding Command to select them both. Make sure you're at keyframe at the marker one. Go to Effect, Distort, Offset. Uh, hit the stopwatch where it says Shift Center two, uh, and it's going to only do it on the bottom one, so the one you selected. Now go to marker two, and you want to change it to something like seventy forty. So it won't that much has changed, but if you scroll back, because this is now moving up, it's moving side to side. If we just turn off the blur so we can work with this, you'll see the bottom bit is now spinning. Now let's do the same thing for the top one quickly. Uh, shift center to marker one, go to two, change it to 70, 40. So now what happens is we scroll through this, you can see these ones slide, but the middle one stays the same. Now to make it reverse in the middle, we're going to add the same effect. Distort, offset, oh, not mirror. Uh, effect, distort, offset. Hit the shift center two button, go to number two, and change this to minus 7040. So now it's going to go the opposite way. There we go, so now we've got our sliding done. Now we are pretty much done with this effect now. If you turn the fast player back on, you can see it. It's pretty cool, but the only problem is it literally starts changing straight away. It doesn't build up to it. So to fix that, if you go to top, if you go to the top layer, hit U, select the keyframes. Actually, what you want to do is, yeah, select the keyframes for the shift, the offset on the top layer. Right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, Easy Ease, and then you want to go to the Graph Editor. Now I haven't done much in the Graph Editor before, so what you want to do is this little button here. It says graph editor. So you click that once you've got these two keyframes selected, once they're in easy ease, and this should come up. Now it looks pretty kind of confusing, but what you want to do is click this down here, this where the marker is, and then you should get these two yellow lines. You want to drag them as fast to the middle as you can. 
same for the other side. So what's happening basically here, this graph basically tells you that it's slowly getting fast, then it goes really fast, then it slows down again. So now if you watch the top one, you can see it's really, really slow to start up, then it gets really fast, and then it slows down again. It's not just instant, which is the effect we want. So now what we need to do is do that for the next three, for the other two. So do the same for the middle one, keep your system easy ease, graph editor, select this, move it to the middle, move it to the middle, get out the graph editor, do the last one here, right click, oh I missed it, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, graph editor, select it, move it to the middle, and voila, now if we turn off fast flow quickly just to show you this, you can see that now it, start, it starts off slowly, it's really fast, the fade happens, and then it comes back like this, and it looks pretty bad without a blur, so once the blur is added in, you can see, it looks pretty cool, so if we just watch this through now, RAM preview this, there we go, got a pretty new transition for you. Now obviously this is number four with the uh, just offset transition, but I wanted to add some difference to it. And like I said at the beginning, this is kind of a tutorial get, to get me back into the swing of making them and so on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to leave a like. Maybe we can get 15, 20 likes if that's not too much to ask. Get it back to kind of the same amount of likes I got on my last video. And be sure to leave me some tutorial suggestions in the comments so I know what to make next. And I shall see you guys later.